I don't give a fuck. The dragon was triggering you? Which dragon was that? Yo, man, fuck that dragon. I know, I remember what you're talking about now, yeah. I ended up killing it, though, yeah. We're gonna see how he is. I'm not gonna say he's good, bad, ugly, anything until I play with him and decide myself, you know? You know what I mean? Bitch, you know I'm sexy. No, don't call, just text me. Maybe junk? Um, I don't think junk's gonna be that great for him, maybe. He could be okay, he could be okay with junk. But I think he's just gonna be a good addition as a tech card. Um, you know. It's, like, as a three-cost card, you gotta think about it. Um, let's, let's look real quick and see what, okay, let's, Let's do a quick discussion, right? I'm thinking what you're thinking, Pop. Perhaps control. But let's do a discussion. So what is his ability, right? I'm going to put a marker on this. I might put this on YouTube. What is his ability? Afflict the lowest power enemy card here with negative two power and remove its tech. The lowest power enemy card. Okay, so let's check this out real quick. It, it has nothing to do with his power. All it has to do is the, uh, the enemy's card's power. So, if we come over here to um our slew of cards that we have, um let's let's sort by power, and we're gonna go from the lowest to the highest. So, which cards here would actually matter? Well, first of all, if we want to turn this into a science project, unreveal cards don't matter. Um, for the most part. On reveal cards have already been triggered. That's right. So it doesn't matter unless, and this is, this is the only thing I can think of. With an on reveal card, maybe oh, havoc, maybe might be it. Might be. Why would you care though? You know. And who's playing havoc? Uh, Grandmaster. He's already done his thing. He's only getting the on reveal version of this, which is just negative two power. Probably not going to be great for him. Um. I mean, I'm just looking, you know, and just just going through all these. Obviously, Iron Man, great. But on reveal cards, there's not really a reason to worry about on reveal cards. And I'm even looking down here. Maybe some move cards, maybe. Yeah, I mean, um, ongoing is where this is going to matter. So, so let me ask you this. And I'm gonna turn my music down some so I can concentrate a little bit better. I gotta turn my music down so I can so I can see better. You know, like when you're driving and you're trying to trying to find where you're going, you gotta cut your music down so you can read the sign. Don't make sense, but it works. So what I'm saying is like, um, Taskmaster, he's not gonna give a shit, right? He's already done what he needs to do, right? And this isn't like a Cosmo <laughs> where it's it's gonna be you know after the fact that you really care about doing this. So I really feel like, for the most part, and, and and tell me if I'm wrong, but because Red Guardian has a two-part effect, one that says, takes away the text, that's its own separate category, and negative two, that's its own smaller, but yes, separate niche category. So I think that the most you're going to be doing with this card, for the most part, is just giving negative two. You can look and see and be like, okay, so Null, Null is ongoing. <laughs> he's gonna that's a big hit against Noel, right? He's gonna become a, z a, a negative two card Um, I'm looking at other cards that you know are low low power like all a lot of these are on reveal Um ant-man he's gonna become a negative one card Um, maybe if you hit deadpool if if but think about deadpool deadpool's very hard to hit Um, you have to you have to have prio so it's gonna be kind of tough to do um like I, the, the re this is the reason why I'm saying he might not be super good, especially on paper. If you hit a Bucky Barnes, well, he's just gonna get destroyed. He will not become uh, El Winter Soldier. Um, I don't know how to say uh, Winter or Soldier in Spanish, so bear with me. Um, I keep bumping into these cards that are text-based cards 
that that only have like they're not on reveal they're not ongoing but they do have an ability bishop it would suck to get hit by him if you're playing as a bishop but who's really playing bishop decks right now not a whole lot of them let's be honest with ourselves right um and then i'm looking at other cards like ongoing um and like dracula also another bad um another good example of what's gonna be like good but wolfbane on the other hand she's on reveal the damage has already been done she's only gonna lose minus two power that she would have gained originally so stuff like that i think is where it's not gonna really matter he doesn't matter very much okay professor rex you have to really make that guess and know they're gonna be playing professor rex you know i don't i don't know I don't know that this is going to be super good. He, he can be a good surprise factor, but at the same time, I feel like he's just a better version of, or, or let's, let's compare him to what I think is the most comparable card, and that is Enchantress. Enchantress. So, you have Enchantress and you have Red Guardian. Red Guardian... Taking a, taking two power off of the weakest card in this lane, but also removing its text. Enchantress taking away ongoing. So what are the what are the pros and the cons? Well, with Enchantress, which honestly now she doesn't really work very well with Zabu because Zabu is a shit card now. That's one thing that 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 uh, Red Guardian is going to bring to the table. Um, also, Red Red Guardian is targeted, so you, for the most part, know what you're going to be hitting. Enchantress is going to hit everything in that lane, including your own ongoing cards. So, could be a shot in um, a shot in the foot. But, at the same time, Enchantress is not going to do anything to cards that... Well, let's, let's take on-reveal cards out of the equation. Because, for the most part, unless they're going to be doing something like Artem Zola or Grandmaster or... Like Wong with Odin, you're not going to really care about trying to hit that on, re on reveal card because it's already done its thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's so you got one card that is all around good at taking care of a specific card that has low power. Enchantress is like a shotgun. So I still feel like Enchantress is better, though, because even though red guardian he does cost a little bit less that is probably his best his best quality over enchantress but when you really look down at it he's only gonna really be attacking cards that are ongoing and the text-based cards that are not the trigger trigger ability cards i guess you want to call them so is it really you know i feel like enchantress does all ongoing and she does it all well Red Guardian does cards that have a low amount of power and only really affects to a good extent cards that are trigger abilities are ongoing, but only one of them in that lane. So, I mean, I think this is, this is, I think that for the, for the, for the cost, maybe it's okay, but I honestly could see him being a two cost card and being okay. If that if that makes any sense, I feel like Red Guardian could be a two cost card, and and he would still be like not he wouldn't be broken, simply because what he's doing is something that is not really that it, it could be a little a little beneficial, but I don't think it's super beneficial for him to have to cost three, and we have a lot of three costs to be honest. I think him being a two would be perfectly balanced if you ask me. Um, if you think about it, he really is a three, five. If you're playing him on a location that has a card, because as long as that card ain't Cosmo, you're going to be taking two power off of that card. You've been taking out people's hope summers, which has been fun. Yes. I think hope summers will be a good, um, a good thing to counter with this card because hope summers is a card that is a trigger ability card. She's not ongoing. She's not on reveal. She is a trigger ability, which I think he works very well against trigger abilities and ongoing on reveal is going to be, you're only going to really be getting the benefit of the, I can't think of one on reveal card. I, I guess I, I take that back. I can think of one. I can think of one on reveal card that this is like, okay with, you know, like, um, or maybe, maybe a few black Panther. 
you would want to hit him. And then uh, if you have priority, he's not going to double when he goes over if he gets Arnim Zola. That's something that I can think about. Um, maybe Dr. Doom. You know, stuff like that. It's people want to re-trigger. That kind of stuff, I can see. But beyond that, you're not really going to be looking to hit anything unless they're playing those ongoing or trigger abilities. And if you really want to think about it, and this is just me, I, I know this for a fact. If you look at on reveal cards, I'm going to take it to where I can only see my favorites. Look at how many on reveal cards there are in the game. How many decks are based off of on reveal cards? Now, let's check out on ongoing cards. And some of these are on reveal as well. Some of these are beneficial, but there are way more on ongoing than on. I mean, they're way more on reveal than ongoing, if you ask me. But if you can, if you, I can't even look at the trigger ability cards, but there's not a ton. So you, 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 you see, like, I don't know if it's going to be that beneficial, but I will say this. We have to try him out, see how he's going to play in some ladder matches. Um, and then I'll make my final um, choice on is he good or is he bad, which he might be mediocre at this point. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and grab him real quick. Um, what's up, Clip of Fury? How you doing, baby? Um, oh, man, why do you... Does this even look good? I think it looks all right. This shit costs a hundred. He's part of the red group. I forgot what they are called with the USR. Of course, Lament is preventing me from playing my cards. We'll hang on to you. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, at least I can win Luke's bar. Snap. He has five cards left. You want to make a discard surfer, but don't have Proxima for it? Wow. Aid my hand. I'm going to red guardian his sunspot. Okay, so how is he going to win all these locations? Even if he has like Dr. Doom or some shit. I don't understand how he's going to win. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is he going to do? <laughs> like, even if he plays, uh, what you call it? I don't really care. We're winning every single lane, so. I want to make a discard surfer, but I don't have Proxima for it. You don't have to have Proxima to make a discard server surfer. Um, you can just do some stuff like uh, make sure you have Ghost Rider definitely. But um, sometimes you got to work with what you don't have. That's what I always say. Work with what you don't have.
I mean, I don't have a way to do it anyway, so. Ooh, girl, you shining. Ooh, no lockjaw, buddy. That sucks. This is perfect. And now I can snap. It's Dracula's bullshit. Oh, wow. Okay, we're still doing okay, though. That's not going to copy anything. I can bring this out, bring this out. Still got enough... Ooh, what if I Ooh, it could be kind of kind of scary though. I don't know if he has his Modoc or not. I'm assume he does. I can do Baron Zemo. I don't think I want to do it twice though. This seems like the play. I'm going to go ahead and snap. He can't leave, so I think it's good. Yo, Big Rob Davis, welcome to the Loop Troop. Thanks for the follow. So let's make sure I got this ordering right. We're going to Baron Zemo first, bring something out. We don't know what it is. Then we're going to uh, Sebastian Shaw, then Surfer, then Absorption Man. Seems good to me. Oh, well, that was that was actually pretty good for us. I don't know what he has. He's got a lot of work to do if he thinks he's gonna be able to beat us though. Swagnito, no. What would that have even done? I guess that was his only option though. So, worked out for us. Good shit. So far, I think we're 2-0 and with this deck. We're fucking, we're fucking, we're fucking. He thought it was I'm at the fucking right now. We're fucking. Uh, my bad, I've been watching for almost two months. Where the fuck are you? Are you out beside my window? No. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I didn't hit the follow button. Sorry. Hey, yo, it is no problem, Rob. Appreciate it, dude. Um, I love all my lurkers, so it's no problem. It's coming from inside the house. <laughs> yo, Abista, welcome to the Loop Troop. Thanks for the follow, my homie. Yo, what's getting hot up in here, man? Frame break. What did I ever do? I know I want to open up my eyes, but I'm afraid. Has anybody else ever watched um, Alice in Borderland? Because it's just pretty fucking lit. I'm not going to lie. Thank you, Lemon. It's just pretty fucking lit. I know it's been out for a while now. I think it even came out around the same time Squid Games came out, but it's pretty good. I think I'm going to make a video talking about history's strong disciple Kenichi on my YouTube next week. I'm going to try to. Because I think I want to branch out to more than just Marvel Snap for my video for my YouTube channel. Marvel Snap's not always going to be the only thing I'll be doing, right? Or the majority of the thing I'll be doing. That sounds better. Why are you doing this back for now? She's back for now. But just how long will it last? Don't put that on me, Loopy Fizz. <laughs> hey, man, you never you never know. You never know what could happen. You son of a bitch. All right, turn three, four energy. Throw Baron Mordo in here because he comes after that.
Interesting. I really wish that I could. I, I wish that I could hit Red Guardian on Man Thing. What's that Man Thing are Venomized. I think we just put Jeff here for now. So we know he's going to have Luke Cage, right? That's the way I see it. He's going to have Luke Cage. I'm going to go for Sarah over here. So I'm going to red Baron over here. Baron Zemo brings that too. So it's whatever. Um, brood. Let's move this over here. It does suck. Maybe I don't even want a Baron more though. It'll be the biggest card he'll have in his deck though. Maybe I don't do brood. I'm not going to do brood. Moose over here and play Killmonger and Surfer. I'm going to do I'm going to do I don't want to do um I don't want to do Killmonger on the left because I have Red Guardian over here. Okay, so he has a thing. Sucks for Jeff, but we should still be able to win this. Does he have Luke Cage? Oh, Hazmat. Oh, Red Guardian. Oh, he has nothing in his deck. Never mind. It didn't matter though. Ha! <laughs> he didn't have anything else in his deck, but it didn't matter. <laughs> Do you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it. Day day. I, I still need to watch Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is a nice little calf, casserole, though. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna troll the fuck out of Zabu. Man, I miss Kazuma, man. He won't be back. Oh, actually, Kazuma should be back like next week. Although on the 22nd, I will not be streaming. It's on my anniversary. So there you go. I don't even know if Zabu's back from ads yet. Yes, I won Zabu. <laughs> Oh my God. You happy now? You, you saw what you wanted to see? What did Zemo pull off? Nothing. Because his deck was empty. Uh, Maximus made us pull all his car, made him pull all his cars out. So it didn't happen. So yeah, this deck ain't doing bad. You have points to bet. I should play gladiator on the left. I also actually play Maximus and Gladiator on the left. If you want something older slash darker by one of the goats, I recommend Paranoia Agent. For anyone who hasn't seen it, I think I've watched. So I used to be an anime club at my particular um 
There was a uh, at my college I went to. I was an anime club. I think Paranoia Agent. I actually um remember them being in. I'm putting Sebastian Shaw over here. Oh shit. Well, this probably won't be super bad. But now all of his cards are like negative, so let's pull something out of there. Oh, yeah. Hey! That was a nice hit. It's not terrible. Maybe I'll make him get my Sarah if he has rogue. Oh, super scroll. Well, I can, um, I can just do this guarding on the right is going to hit mystique, which is okay. You know, I'm gonna snap on this. I have a good feeling about this. Come on, be enough. Be more than enough. Come on. Come on. Behold my mighty hand. Oh no, is that enough? No! Oh wait, no! Fuck! Oh my God, he just barely made it. Ah, he won by one fucking point. One fucking point, man. Fuck! This egg I care was rough as fuck. Let's do that real quick. What is up, troop? Loopy Fist here, bringing you guys to the deck. Sorry I haven't been posting as many videos as I want to. Uh, work has just been a lot of work. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, today Red Guardian came out and we decided to make a surfer deck with him and this deck is called Russian Surfer. I know very original, right? Well, um, we have a few, you know, common things you will see in a surfer deck. We are running the package with Absorption Man as well as Brood. So you can kind of get a lot of three cost cards out there on the field. Um, you know, Surfer's going to love that. We're running Sebastian Shaw as well. You guys know Sebastian Shaw and Surfer are best friends. Uh, now, I decided to go with Baron Zemo and I also threw in Maximus to kind of thin their deck and then have a little more concentration for Baron Zemo. Give us a little bit. Uh, more um, flexibility on not 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 flexibility, but more consistency on what we pull. We want to get a big card, right? And because he's going to be pulling the smallest card, um, well, if we make them pull some cards, perhaps we can get a big card. We were actually able to get some pretty big cards on some opponents tonight. But anyways, beyond that, we got Gladiator as well for a little bit more milling effects and Sarah to help us kind of keep things, you know, very low cost. Uh, Killmonger Nova package. And last but not least, we do have Red Guardian. You can't have Red Guardian deck without Red Guardian. Uh, in my um, experience with him tonight in this deck, for the most part, you're not really caring about the minus two um, that this card is giving to the opponent's cards. You're really caring more about the fact that it's taking the text-based ability away. 
And just know that that's not going to be very beneficial against anything that's on reveal unless they're going to be trying to re-trigger that ability. Um, the main things you're going to be looking for are trigger type abilities. So like your Draculas and your um, Bishops, your stuff like that, you know. Um, but also Hope Summers. Hope Summers is a good one to hit as well. And then Ongoing. Those are the cards you're going to be looking for to hit with Red Garden. It's always going to be the lowest card cost in that lane. Uh, um, and... I'm sorry, the lowest power card in that lane. Um, besides that, I think he's a decent card. I would honestly think his text would be better off if it said this card removes the text from the lowest cost card in the lane and is a 3-5 if there's a card there. That, that That's the only way that I'm like, it's the minus two doesn't really bother me that much, but maybe in different archetypes, it'll work better if you're playing like a high Evo with Abomination, you know, stuff like that. So we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe if you like the video. Don't do it if you don't. I'm not going to force you to, but I'll see you later. Bye! And there is the outro or the intro for the video. Um, Yeah. It's Elden bitch killing time. It is Elden bitch killing time. You are 103% correct. What's up, Snake? How's it going, Snake? Hey, let me, uh... Do this real quick. Moon is on my side, I have no reason to run.